Now I can breathe a sigh of relief because it doesn't say untitled at the top of my screen. Like I said, Logic is autosaving all the time, so you're usually going to be okay. But you should always try to save first, not at the end of your project. But since Logic has an autosave feature that basically saves every move along the way that you're doing, we're going to be okay. So I'm going to click Bounce again. Now when I bounce, I can see that it's going into my desktop folder, into the folder that I just saved into a Bounces folder. This is very cool. I'm going to select this file here, and you'll see that it actually auto-named a Logic song dot Logic X. It's a nice little trick I like to do. Hit Bounce. And what it's going to do is go through the song and merge everything together into a single file that we could play in iTunes or we could upload to SoundCloud, wherever we want to share it. So I'm going to hide Logic 10 and open up a Logic song. And I can see in my Finder window, there are my three Logic song files as stereo mixes. I can preview them just by hitting spacebar. Sounds a little like an 80s TV show. That's cool. So there you go. That's quick and dirty, made a whole song beginning to end. Now let's slow things down a little bit and really look at all the different parts of Logic that we're going to be using to create our song.